dirty, 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 dirty. Holder. Oh yeah, they're worth one. They're like those resin things. Mm. Yeah, they're cool. See how much I want for it. Mm. Didn't we sell one before that was uh, like orange or something? Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Hey, best of luck, man. What's that? Airport time capsule. Good grief, it's heavy. Oh, this is like a, uh, I actually just looked this up. I think it's only worth like 30 bucks or 20 bucks or something. You can see how much they want. If it's cheap enough, like five bucks, I'd get it. It's for the internet. It does internet things. Here. Yeah, remember? Remember this? This is your Apple internet. It, no, this one's better though. So you wouldn't be careful when purchasing Apple products. Honestly, they all look the same. That thing says Mac Mini, but on the back of it's gonna be a model number, which I'm looking up, and also there's going to be a year, and that's very important. So this one was, I typed in the model number, then I typed in the year 2010. I did ask them how much they wanted for it. They wanted, I think, 30 or 40 bucks, said it went for 250 to $300 online. That is actually n not true when it comes to this one itself. This one is actually only worth about 50 to really 30 or $50, but, a newer one that looks exactly the same goes for over two thousand dollars so very important to check out all your apple products also when you buy apple products sometimes they're locked and they're very hard to get them unlocked and sometimes you really even can't we've called apple before and couldn't get stuff unlocked so we actually did not buy any of those apple products boy it's a big old dude i bet you that thing works worth it i bet you that thing's worth a ton Yeah, printers like that are worth like a billion dollars. It is a phone. Hello? Hello? Ah. Pretty neat. Oh wow, that thing is sweet. <laughs> um, did you get the, the micro round? That thing is, I've never seen a new one. Yeah, they're cool. Where should we get a stack of those things? Yeah, that would be nice. You know what that is? That's a, um, right here. They must buy and flip things. It's a uh, auction bid tag. Usually when you see auction bid tags, look at these cats. You know who had these cats? My grandma. Really? Oh yeah. Huh. 100%. Good grief, they're hot. It's 110 degrees outside today. It's a good looking cat. These cat pillows actually would have been a pretty good pickup. I think online, some of them, if you have the set, goes for like 20 bucks, somewhere around there. But if you ever see the needlepoint cat pillows, I saw one on eBay go for over $150. Go closer to your Dollar, house. love. Okay. Um, dollar. Okay. But, you know, I'm do you want Did you, uh... Pick up that other cross pen downstairs. I, found, I think I found its friend. This one's in pretty rough condition though. But still worth still worth it. Probably.
when it comes to estate sales and they have the bathroom set up like this, I'm always looking for like older uh, perfumes or colognes or something like that because they can go for a good amount of money on eBay. Yeah, 2005. McDonald's, 2006. Some more pins. McDonald's, 2006. I think I actually seen this one before. For the Garmin, they said four dollars. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. I think that one usually goes for like fifteen. What a lot going on at that estate sale. We picked up a lot. We turned the cameras off just because there was so much. We're going to put this in the back of the car. We're going to go over the stuff we picked up real fast. You saw most of it, but there were so many people and it was like literally crammed to the to the hilt in there. Very hot. You think there's turtles in there? Probably a big old alligator. Alligators and venomous snakes may be present. Not may, definitely are present. So in there we picked up Black and Decker hand chopper thing. This is always a good buy. Brand um, new. We only spent fifteen dollars for this entire thing. Brand new. That's that's gonna be fifteen bucks right there. So all the rest is profit. I think the coolest thing that you picked up was the Simpson straw magnet. Now I don't think it's old. No, it's from two thousand and seven. So, but I still think it's pretty cool. That's nice. And then you picked up this. This is my favorite find. You've got mail. Takes me back to my childhood. Got really? You had a computer when you were a child? You yes. lucky dog, you. <laughs> uh, the newbie right there is going to be about 10 bucks. Uh, and then a whole bunch of different buttons that we got. Um, I also picked up a Lionel train, like little clock thing, which was pretty cool. But like the buttons were really cool. A lot of them are McDonald's buttons from like, you know, back in the uh, early 2000s. This Radio Shack micro 36 is pretty cool outback steakhouse easter that's pretty cool here here's to the irish honigan that's pretty cool um and look at this this one is dollywood we were just up there and the rest of these are like some really cool buttons from just st patrick's day this is neat i actually don't know what this is i'm guessing that it's broken right there i don't know if it was a see that metro region Oh, it's a stamp because it's backwards. See? Yeah. So it's like an old school stamp. That's pretty neat. But everything was in this box and I just bought the whole box. Uh, one thing they always want to look out for are cross pens. Some of these can be actually 24 karat gold. These are not going to be 24 karat gold. These are actually, it says it right there, these are 1 20th 10 karat gold. And so, but you always have to look on the base here because sometimes they are actually 24 karat gold and they're worth a ton of money. But I think we did pretty good for 15 bucks. Back in the garage, let's go over some cool stuff. And one of these is seriously one of the fastest things that we sell on our eBay store. It will be gone within a couple of days, but let's start over there at the little, I think it's called Lucite maybe? The plastic uh, resin type made in the United States napkin holder. We've actually sold a lot of these before. They can have butterflies, they can be owls, they can be orange, they can be all types of stuff. But there's usually a mark on the bottom to tell you what company it is made by and they sell really, really well for us. This will probably sell probably for like 15 or 20 bucks. So not a whole bunch of money, but for a dollar, you can't beat it. Then the estate sale, uh, just too many people in there. I know when it's gonna be a bad video of just you know moving around a lot and really close and super dark and that was just a ton of people in that house but we did get some you know little video of the stuff that we bought so we're not going to go over that stuff but I do want to go over these again but really be on the lookout do your research when you come across cross pens these are actually uh, 10 karat gold filled I said they were uh, plated 10 karat gold but they're 10 karat gold filled so they're gonna have some value but be on the lookout for the ones that say 18 karat gold on the actual little clip there and they can be worth I think like 
800 to 3000 dollars depending on exactly what it is but cross pens are always a good pickup especially you can get them in the set we do have a pen and a mechanical pencil so that's pretty good these are usually a good pickup too these little miniature uh, tape recorder things i think this one goes for like 20 30 bucks and remember we only spend 15 dollars on everything at that estate sale kayla loves this i don't know if this is going to be for sale but this does go for like 20 bucks. They have it marked at 15. That was the last day of the estate sale, so everything was 50 to 75% off. Um, ink, ink doesn't really sell a whole, really, a whole bunch for us anymore. Uh, but this one right here will probably sell for $15 uh, plus shipping. A little bell back there. And then we just have some, again, some really cool buttons. Our buttons where you usually lot up, like all the McDonald buttons will lot up, and they seem to go for like 10 bucks if you have a couple of them. And then these I thought were really cool. The Outback buttons were actually do sell fairly well probably five to six dollars a piece serving those who serve us this one is i think an easter outback 2007 and this one i think just says connecticut on it so pretty cool stuff there also kayla she cries a lot in the in the uh, kitchen not because she's sad or anything because she don't like chopping onions and look at that there's onions being chopped with no tears so she's gonna go ahead and keep this is a brand new black and decker uh handy chopper plus and you can if, if you found one of these, the best way, especially if it's used, is to part it out. This part right here, the little working bolt, always sells for 10 to 15 bucks. It actually sells, the working bolt itself sells more for the whole than the whole thing for some reason. But if you have one of those, because these tend to crack right there when it comes together. So uh, they sell really, really well on eBay. The fastest selling thing, I'm serious, I've never had one last more than a couple of days, is this. Is the Nordic Wear original micro go round it is where you basically put this thing in the microwave put a plate on it and it just is a merry-go-round that's all it does and i kid you not on a brand new one this again this was only a dollar brand new one this is probably going to go for 45 to 50 bucks we pick them up consistently at the goodwill for like three to five dollars and they sell for 25 to 30 pre-owned this one is in excellent condition i think it is a brand spanking new Look at that, it's still got the stuff inside of it. It still has the paperwork in there too. So uh, this one, it, it will sell really, really fast, probably 45 to $60. That ain't bad for a dollar. Also, if you're interested on our Etsy store, we do have the new logo. We also have the original logo, but this is our new logo right here. And um, this is a little water bottle that I have, but we also have t-shirts that are uh, on our Etsy store. We have them in large all the way up to 3XL that Kayla has been working super hard on. Again, link down below for our Etsy store. So not a bad day. And I'm telling you, even on the last day of estate sales, there's always something to buy, something to look at. And we did really well. I can't believe, honestly, on the last day that these were still there. These are pretty sought after cross pens. I use them all the time as a police officer. Uh, they look really good on that top button. If you're a cop, you know you need the two cross pens sitting there. It just, and they, they were not the ones you gave out. It wasn't like, hey, borrow my pen. They're the ones that stay in your pocket for the show. They're show pens, really. Uh, but also like this, this is a really good, this was sitting on the table right, right when I walked in. These are always a good buy and they sell really, really fast on eBay. And then the smalls, they also sell really well on eBay. So a really good uh, deals on these. Super, I mean, we only spent like $17 on all this stuff and we're probably like pro close to 10 times our money and you can't go wrong with that for a couple hours of yard sailing. I do appreciate everybody watching. Remember, if you're not subscribed, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and you know I will always get you on the next one.